a strong marriage requires two people who choose to love each other even on those days when they struggle to like each other your marriage would not be defined by the size of your struggles but by the size of your commitment to overcome those struggles this is a quote from the willis hello everyone welcome back to Fetish family we are still on marriage series today i want us to look at five questions that we need to regularly ask our couples our spouses in our marriage to help for the marriage to keep succeeding number one is there anything that you need from me that i'm not giving or that i'm not doing you may be surprised the answer that will come this these questions and these uh, five questions are for both the husband or the wife can ask these questions regularly are there things that you need from me that i'm not giving you you may be surprised the answer that will come out of this question and be prepared for it don't make excuses or say oh but i'm doing this but i'm doing that no once they, you ask that question and when they give you the answer act on it don't start saying but i do this for you but i do that for you yeah you may be doing all that but there are still things that they want they need or that they think that you are not doing act on it if it will help in strengthening the marriage number two is there anything that i do that hurt you again be prepared for the answer to this question and act on it no excuses there may be things you are doing it may not it may be the way you talk to them or the way you act around the house or the way you behave when you are outside in a occasion with them or the way you behave anywhere you may be surprised what will come out of this question but if you don't ask these questions regularly things might be bottled up and when things are bottled up it only takes a little thing for the person to just you know go up there and start sh uh, shouting but if you have this discussion from time to time and take note of the other person's answer and improve because we're all work in progress and improve it will help a lot number three is there something that i used to do that you wish i still did you may be surprised or it can be the other way around is there something that i'm not doing that you want me to start doing ask that question and listen when you ask these questions listen no interruption hear the other person out that's their opinion so no need to justify anything and start saying but i used to do this but i do this but I, I'm, I'm still doing this no just act on what they've said it helps a lot in your marriage succeeding when you ask these questions from time to time and be prepared for the answer that you're going to get and don't be offended because you are there as a married couple you're there for the rest of your life unless you're thinking otherwise for until death do you part so you need to ask these questions because you want to have peace in your marriage the fourth question do you feel that there are ways in our marriage where god is missing obviously in every marriage in every relationship god should be first god should be first you have to pray together but ask this question is there any way anywhere in a relationship that you go you think that god is missing also is very in, uh, let me just say here as well that it's very important for couples to and pray together sometimes they can. I know with busyness of life now, everybody's so busy running health as skelter, doing one thing or the other, you don't even have time most of the time to pray. I say, couple, 
it will be very good if you can at create at least one day where you can spend a longer time, talk things over, read the word together, share things together, and then pray. On other days, you can pray, you know, yourselves, depending on your schedules, but always pray for your marriage. There are so many temptations out there. There are so many horrible things going on out there that affects marriages. So always be prayerful. Yeah. When your spouse is going out, pray for him when, or her and pray with each other. So ask that question about prayer. Is there anywhere, anywhere you think that God is missing in our relationship, in our marriage? Very important. Number five is, are there areas you want us to improve in our sex life? Very important. No matter the number of years of marriage, this question is very important because it can be a huge problem in marriages. People think that, oh, well, after all, I've had my children. I've had the children. What, are, what else are we talking about? No, no, no. It's not good because that causes a lot of problems in marriages. That's where unfaithfulness starts when the other one, one or the other person is no more interested and these questions are not asked. You may be surprised what will come out of this question when you ask your spouse. And when they say, um, when they tell you something or some things, consider them, work on them, because it will help in building that marriage. Your aim should always be for your marriage to keep succeeding. We are all work in progress, whether one, five, 10, 15, 20 years or above of marriage, we are still work in progress you keep to keep working at your, at your marriage you have to keep working on, on, on it you have to keep talking these two c's communication and commitment cannot be overemphasized in any marriage <laughs>